give up, never surrender. My drug files come out. You shall be avenged. All systems are working, Commander. It's been 20 years since TV audiences first thrilled to the sight of the NSEA protector as it traveled through space on its way to distant galaxies. I don't like it. It's too easy. Each week, its crew of daring space adventurers took on a new mission and a new foe. Trapped! We're surrounded, Commander. Nothing ever stopped this intrepid band of space pioneers. No matter what they encountered, they were always in control. Surrender may be our only option. No! Never give up! Never surrender! I have to say that it was, uh... Well, sort of the high point of my career, I got to dress up and pretend I was a commander of a spaceship. And I got paid for it. Although not much, we had an after problem. That, we were trying to merge the contracts, and we didn't know whether we were, ah, I shouldn't get into that stuff. Anyways. Now, for the first time since the show's abrupt cancellation in 1982, the original cast members of Galaxy Quest have reunited for a major motion picture. Catch up with Jason Nesson, Gwen DeMarco, and Alexander Dane as they share their adventures and tell the real stories behind the legendary TV show that has become America's number one science fiction cult classic. All Gwen had to do was worry, worry about her hair. She's not around, is she? Sometimes I felt like, you know, sort of the camp counselor with a bunch of, like, toddlers. You know, kind of the practical one. Now, I wasn't sure that it was going to be for quite such a long time, or indeed that um, 15 years on I'd still be talking about it, but of course I'm thrilled. In the dawn of the new millennium, what better time to take a look back at this visionary television series? Buckle your seatbelts and prepare to discover the real stories in the Galaxy Quest 20th Anniversary Special. The journey continues. What Galaxy Quest did best was ask probing questions about the nature of humanity and the world. Galaxy Quest is not just an experience out into space, but inside your individual heart as a person. It's really struck a nerve in the, you know, the heart of, of most Americans, I think. I'll admit it, you know, the sets look fake and nothing really made sense, but I sort of see it as a metaphor for my own life. Well, being on the show meant um, not having to do guest starring roles on Fantasy Island or The Love Boat, which I didn't mind because the, the girl was pretty attractive. We went off the air 20 years ago, and I think that that was probably a little premature by about 20 years. You know, I think it was a mistake to cancel us. So I think that they just gave up because they didn't think, you know, space was where it was at. You know, we had some ra pretty rabid fans, and there were people all upset all over the country. I had people call me all the time sending me letters, asking me for scripts, asking me for props. They wanted to buy this. Do you have any? I would get, I still get letters. It's always nice to see um, good work being honored. A lot of the qualities in the TV show uh, harken back to an earlier time, 15, 20 years ago, when this country was in a different kind of shape. Uh, heroism was a different thing. This is funny. We did try to get Orson Welles to direct a few episodes. We had this one called The Blivering Blimp, which is about an alien that was filled with hydrogen. Now back to the Galaxy Quest 20th Anniversary Special.